The overall goal of this procedure is to track protein movement by expressing a single protein bearing two different fluorophores in two separate cell lines and fusing these cell lines together. This is accomplished by first transfecting plasmids bearing the gene of interest fused to either of two different fluoroprotein genes into two separate cell types. The second step of the procedure is to mix the cells together and allow each cell type to accumulate protein. The third step of the procedure is to inhibit protein synthesis, then fuse the cells using polyethylene glycol. The final step of the procedure is to visualize protein localization via fluorescence microscopy. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show alteration of protein localization or trafficking behavior through fluorescence microscopy. This method can help to answer key questions in the cancer biology field, such as how do discrete protein functions and behaviors change as cells become transformed? Though this method can provide insight into transformed cell-specific changes, it can also be applied to other studies, such as cell differentiation, developmental biology, and cell signaling. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because optimization of transfection conditions as well as fusion conditions will be required for each different cell type. The first method demonstrated in this protocol for the introduction of plasmid DNA into cells is the nucleofection method, which uses Lanza nucleofector solution. To begin, wash cells that have been recently passaged and are in logarithmic growth with phosphate-buffered saline, PBS, and harvest them by trypsinization. Once the cells have lost adherence, neutralize the trypsin with the addition of serum-containing media and collect...